Hi guys, for today we're gonna tackle about the ethics and professional responsibility in computing. In this topic, we're gonna learn how to evaluate accountability issues in our computer society and how to discuss the ethical, legal, and social issues regarding the risk and responsibility for public information. So, sa topic na to, matututunan daw natin kung ano yung ethical, legal, and social issues na nangyayari sa mga professionals in the computing society. And kung paano daw dapat yung behavior na pinapakita ng professional sa kanilang client. Uh, but first, uh, I'm gonna tell you who are the people behind it. The people behind it is called the technology specialist. Technology specialist is an IT specialist, computer professionals, or an IT professionals. It is a person working in the field of, of information technology, or a person who has undergone training in a computer field related colleges, universities, and computer institutes, or a person who has proven extensive knowledge in the area of computing. So, the responsibility of computing professionals toward society, professionals need to understand what success means, and it, in, it includes users such as a medical staff, technicians, pilots, officers, workers in the design and testing stage to provide a safe and useful systems. And professionals also do a thorough, careful job when planning and scheduling a project and when writing bids or contracts. It designs for real users and be inclusive. So, so professional daw kailangan alam ng professional kung paano magsasucceed yung isang project. So, hindi pwedeng mag-failure because kailangan ng professional ng mahabang proseso sa paggawa ng isang program para sa kanilang client na efficient at magamit talaga ng ng gusto ng client yun. So, ang professional daw, marami silang client such as medical staff, technicians, pilots, office workers, and many more. And, responsibilities of computing professionals towards society. So, sa, sa part na to, yung professionals daw, ito yung mga things to consider na maging ethics nila sa computer professional storage society. Professionals don't assume existing software is safe or correct. Professionals review and review the program and test it. Be open and honest about capabilities, safety, and limitations of software. Require a convincing case for safety. Pay attention to defaults. Develop communication skills. So yung sa unang uh, ethical na dapat daw meron ng professional sa computing towards society is that don't assume existing software is safe or correct. So, wag, ang mga professionals dapat hindi magpakampante kahit may existing software nga kung safe ba siya, liable ba siya, reliable ba siya sa magiging client. And next is review and test it. Hindi mahabang proseso ang paggawa ng isang software na kailangan i-review muna, dumaan sa tamang proseso, at kailangan matis muna to bago ipagamit sa kanilang client. And professionals, be open and honest about capability, safety, and limitation of, of software. So, sa field ng profession na to, yung professionals daw kailangan sinasabi sa client nila kung ano yung capabilities ng software na ginagawa nila para sa client nila, and kung ano yung scope, kung an kung hanggang saan lang yung sasakupan ng software na yun. And kailangan ma-develop nila yung communication skills nila, hindi lang sa client nila, kundi sa mga co-workers, and, and to pay attention to defaults. The next is the ethics and professional responsibility in computing. Professionals tends to have clients, not customers. Whereas a sales clerk should try to satisfy the customer's desires, the professionals try to meet the client's needs. To become a competing professional, an individual must acquire specialized knowledge about discrete algorithms and relational database theory and specialized skills such as software development techniques and digital system design. 
Competing professionals usually learn this knowledge and acquire these skills by earning a bachelor degree in computer science, computer engineering, information systems, or related field. So, yung tawag daw sa mga sa part ng profession na to ay hindi yung customer. Professionals tend to have clients. So, yung pinaka pinaka gumagamit ng software na ginagawa ng professionals is client ang tawag. And where a sales clerk should try to satisfy the customer desires. So, basically, yung sa scenario na to, yung client may ibibigay na parang project or software na dapat ma-meet yung expectation ng client ng professional. And to become a competing professional, individual must acquire specialist knowledge about discrete algorithms and relational database theory. So, as a professional in computing, uh, we need to must acquire specialized knowledge about sa mga algorithms and relational database theory kasi ito yung mga parang basic basic na fundamentals na kailangan natin sa paggawa ng mga software. And a computing professional usually learn this knowledge and acquire these skills by earning a bachelor degree in computer science. Uh, yung mga professionals daw usually learn this knowledge as meron silang bachelor degree may mga background sila sa computer engineering or information systems or related fields.